Welcome to DocuMate, the easiest and most powerful document automation software and application builder. This video explains the first step in building a workflow, adding questions to gather data for a workflow. Now, a workflow is a set of questions that generates a set of documents. So we'll start by creating a new workflow on the master dashboard. Let's create one here. Now this takes us to the workflow builder screen, which is made up of two main tabs, the questions tab, where you're going to create all the questions that are gathering data that will go into your end documents or data that you're otherwise trying to gather and collect and the output documents tab, which is where you're going to load all of your templates. For the purposes of this video, we're only focusing on the step where we're setting up the questions. So let's start here by adding a page title, call it general information for now. And now we're going to add our first few questions. So we can click the add question button and that allows us to choose from a variety of different question blocks and also non question instructional type blocks. So let's start with a text question and we'll ask, what is the client's name? Now, every single question needs to have a variable name. The variable name is very important because it's going to be what identifies this question in future questions where you're referencing back to this question in logic and inside of the document itself. So at the most basic level, if I call this client name, then in my end document, if I have a section where I want the client name to appear, then I will just reference the variable name here. Now, let me add another question. I can click add question and I'll add a question about the marital status, a multiple choice question. What is the marital We'll give it the variable name marital status and we'll give it three options, married, single, and divorced. Now I may want to add another question right below this that asks about the spouse's name. Now this is one area where we'll add some logic. So question number two is what is the marital status? Question number three is what is the spouse's name? We only want to ask about the spouse's name if the marital status is married. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of logic to question number three. These branching logic arrows, wherever you see them, that means you can add logic. So we'll click show if marital status, which is my variable name, you can use any variable name that came before this question because it will have been answered already, is married. So now when I run this workflow, the spouse's name question will only show up when the marital status is married. So again, here I'm on my builder screen. This is the screen where you're setting up and creating all of your questions. But if I click run, I can go to the live version of this workflow and see how it works in action from the end user's perspective. So let me just click run to show you what we've created so far. As you can see, we have our general information page with the client's name, who we'll call Jane Doe. If I say the marital status is single, nothing happens. If I say the marital status is married, then the spouse's name question will open up. So let's go back to our builder screen after we just went to the live preview. So again, just to recap, this is the questions tab. We have so far set up some questions. You can add additional questions on this page and others and add logic to your heart's desire. And then in future videos, we'll be covering other types of questions and output documents as well. So please join us for future videos explaining more of the process.